morning campers, or afternoon should I say. How the devil are you? Well, it's been a long time since I made a video, so I thought it was about time I did. I've actually got some in progress at the moment, uh, which I started months ago it seems now, uh, which I, I have not progressed with, and I'll tell you the reason why. So, first of all, I'd like to apologise for not having released a video for such a long time. Um, and I am going to get straight back on it. We're now on the 29th of December. And, uh, a new year, fresh start, as everybody always says every year, but I absolutely do mean for this year. Everyone always says that as well, don't they? But it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a good one. I can feel it in my bones and I'm going to get straight back into the, the videoing, the walking and the, uh, the making of content. So about um, four or five weeks ago now, um, the end of November, um, my beautiful mum passed away with, um, with me and my brother and sister at her bedside as she passed and um, terribly missed of course um, and uh, and it's a uh, something that I will, I will talk about in in a future video um, I made a couple of videos in fact when my when my dad passed away with sort of slightly different underlying currents um, and and things that I talked about but my mum was dearly loved by all of all of our family her kids and grandkids and um, and everybody she met her friends and everybody that met her in in her life she was a a joy and um, um, so I will be making a a, a video about my, my thoughts and feelings and questions that I have about all, all of that that happened to her a month ago yeah so in the meantime I thought I'd make this uh, gap fill video um, just to update anyone that that has enjoyed watching my videos in the past um, and let you know what's happened and the reasons why there's been no content and there will be more um, like I said there's videos in the pipeline that I had um, on the go previous to my mum dying and uh, and and I will also be making one about her and what a, what a wonderful woman she was and uh, that's that's that really so just on a little river canal walk this afternoon and I'll catch some scenery perhaps and uh, see you very soon if I don't speak again <laughs> I haven't got anything for you, mate. Sorry about that. Next time, mate. Eh? I'll bring something next time. Have a good day. It's good to be down by the river again. I've missed, I, I always miss this walk when I don't do it for a while. So I'm gonna. I'm nearly at the, the bridge now, where I'm gonna head over to the other side, and and that's the canal that kind of runs parallel to it. It's a beautiful, crisp, blue sky, wintry day, and I uh, thought I'd make the most of it today, seeing as we do seem to have had a lot of rain and cloud over the last few weeks. So. It's good to be out, get some fresh air, get some exercise, helps to clear your mind. And uh, back to doing this. Another thing which has uh, 
sprinkled a fine uh, layer of hope and cheerfulness on me today on what was, has been quite a uh, quite a heavy month shall we say um, is the fact that it's the, it is the 29th today and uh, the 21st of December obviously being the long the shortest day of the year um, so the, the only way is up from now on the days are going to get longer and lighter in the mornings and before we know it the miserable months of January and February will be through and uh, we'll be heading into spring again and I'm really looking forward to that getting back out again on walks and identifying the flowers that mum helped me to so much on previous videos got to Throstle Nest Bridge of course and uh, it's little moments like this that reminds me of the, the video I made of when my mum came to visit me in Manchester and we hired a scooter and she trundled up that cobbled slope to the other side and across this bridge and we stopped about here and she looked around at the camera Hello. Uh, it just makes you have a little ache in your heart just just thinking about it the moments that we had together but anyway happy moments and uh, and here is the canal that we, uh, we probably shouldn't have we hired the scooter from uh, Manchester Arndale shopping mall shopping center and uh, they probably weren't intending for us to, to take it on a, a six mile jaunt outside the city centre on hills and cobbles and canal paths anyway happy memories anyway nonetheless and uh, I know that my mum's spirit is, is in me and, and my brother and sister um, and we'll continue we can, we'll continue to I don't know I'm just waffling now Anyway, you can enjoy the slightly boring long walk along the canal now, but um, of course there's always things going on, birds to see and not many flowers or wildlife this time of year. The trees are all barren, um, but nonetheless, you know, it's, it's a interesting, uh, you know, runs parallel to the tram line, so that's, that's interesting, lots of old, uh, bridges and you know scenery yeah anyway I'm just gonna enjoy it it's, it's good when you can see the city center tower tower blocks um, rising up in the distance as well and you know that's that's how far you've got to go and with every little plod they get increasingly closer I come along here, uh, 
fresh new lick of graffiti has been painted. And some of it's bloody good, you know. I mean, I don't understand it. It's Some of the, the writing is difficult to decipher, or the tags, is it what they call them? But, and the graphics is obviously, uh, a lot of the time, it's very abstract like that. But it does look absolute. I mean, there's some good artists out there. Is, are their skills going to waste, or is it, is it great that our canal side walls are decorated in, in this? It's, just, it's an unusual phenomena. A lot of care and detail and attention and late night uh, scurrying about, probably. And one thing that always amazes me is the ability of, of graffiti artists to be able to see what it looks like from the other side. You know, from far away, they can get the perspective. When they're up close to the wall painting, they can get the perspective right for how it looks from the other side. And God only knows how that person did that one there. How did they, what, did they suspend themselves from the bridge? Or that's just impossible to fathom. Anyway. Onwards ho, as nobody ever says. As I was walking along just then, I was just in my own thoughts and I suddenly thought, like, where's all the Canada geese gone? Are they, is it just too cold? Are they somewhere else on the river or the canal? Not seen any today. I think I saw one a couple of weeks ago. And then it made me wonder, like, do they actually migrate south? to warmer climes during the winter and then come back in spring to make that god awful racket as they mate and um, have babies. I'm sure I've uh, researched Canada geese before when I did another canal walk up to, uh, to, to the northwest of Manchester. I'm sure I did some research on, on Canada geese, but anyway, I'll, I'll probably do that research again and find out whether they do migrate or not. Anyway, obviously thinking about goose and then it's it's just around about Christmas. Hope you all had a good one, by the way, and happy to New Year to you. Hope it brings lots of joyous things for you. Um, and we had on Boxing Day, Christmas Eve, sorry, we had um, a roast gammon, a slow cooker in Coke, something I've never had before, and it was absolutely delicious. And, um, and then for Christmas Day, of course, we had turkey which was actually good you know not as dry as I remembered it being um, and goose is uh, often a traditional Christmas dinner but we didn't have it this year uh, but it got me thinking about food and how hungry I am I've actually got a another gammon again which I um, smothered and I, I seared the fat first in the frying pan and then I uh, made little holes in it and stuck cloves into the holes so it looks like a hedgehog and then then smothered it in some local honey and then it's sitting in a bath of um, ginger infused sherry which has been in the fridge for a few months so we'll see what that tastes like when I get back I'm look, quite looking forward to it like rain's on the way look at the clouds up there but what it does mean is that the sun shining on those um, new apartments looks golden great color balance is there and reflection in the water of course beautiful
that's it, my lovelies. Come to the end of my six mile jaunt and what a refreshing day it's been out in the uh, wintry chill. And I will see you again very soon in the next video. Take care, happy new year.